crop establishment, weed control, pests and disease management, and nutrition are key for a successful canola crop. A successful establishment is linked to the adherence of the following aspects. Number 1. Compaction removal. Number 2. Moisture conservation. Number 3. Minimal cultivation, that is soil structure improvement. Number 4. Organic matter buildup. Number 5. Pre-plant spray with glyphosates. And number 6. Fine tilth. Planting. The planting rate of canola is 1 kilo per hectare, which contains approximately 200,000 seeds. Planting should aim at establishing a thriving crop with an average plant population of 40 to 60 plants per square meter. Scouting for flea beetles and cutworms and weed management is critical at the early stage of the crop, especially as it germinates, otherwise there will be no crop to manage. Weed control Managing weeds at the pre-plant stage is significantly cheaper than controlling weeds in the crop stage. To date, controlling broad-leafed weeds and canola remains a big challenge. However, this challenge can be overcome by controlling the weeds during rotation with cereal crops. Nutrition Canola is a hungry and thirsty crop. Failure to supply the plant with the required nutrients leads to low production. Some of the elements required by the plant include A. Potassium for water regulation, transpiration or drought tolerance B. Sulfur for the synthesis of proteins and oil C. Phosphorus for photosynthesis, storage and transfer of energy among other functions and D. Nitrogen is an essential element in the vegetative development of the crop. Nitrogen is the main driver of canola yields but note that canola uses much more sulfur and phosphorus compared to cereal crops. Top Dressing Canola is known to be the hungry of nitrogen at the early stage, hence a top dress of a high nitrogen fertilizer is required before or at the green bud stage. Pests and Diseases Management Pests in Canola As the crop germinates, Watch out carefully for cabbage stem flea beetle damage occurring on the cotyledons and the first three true leaves. If the damage is seen, spray the field with a bee-friendly insecticide. The canopy will form over the next five to six weeks. Watch for caterpillars eating the leaves. If caterpillar damage is noticed, again, spray the crop with an insecticide, bearing in mind bee safety as you do so. Other pests to look out for include cutworms, diamond back moths, bollworms, aphids and pigeons. The importance of bees. Bees and other pollinators form a critical part of the yield potential for the crop. Any pest control intervention done must be done cautiously by using bee-friendly products and avoiding any spray during the day when bees are foraging. Avoid using broad-spectrum insecticides which kill bees and other beneficial insects. Disease Control Some of the diseases that affect canola include black leg, damping off, sclerotinia, black spot and club root. These diseases are controlled by fungicides and mainly by rotation. For effective control of pests and diseases, a farmer should consider the following. A. Do a thorough field scouting every week to understand which pest or pests are present. B. Consider the growth stage of the crop. This helps determine whether the control is necessary. C. The weather before spraying. Do not spray when it is raining. D. The selection of the product should be based on pest type, the safety of beneficial insect and post-harvest intervals. The crop will grow on through several stages, from germination to vegetative state, then it gets to green bud, to stem elongation and flowering. This flowering stage can go on for a month. As the flower petals drop off, the first pods appear. Once the pods are formed, the seed filling stage begins and this process can go on for about 35 to 40 days. Thereafter, the crop will begin to ripen off.